All right, so the game that you're seeing right here is actually DC Universe Online. This particular version is actually for the PC. However, it's also available for the PlayStation 3 and will be available for the PlayStation 4. It's actually free to play, so you definitely want to go ahead and pick up this game. In my humble opinion, this is actually the best superhero game out there. Well, at least maybe the third best, I would say, because Arkham Asylum and Arkham City, great games, you know? But um, aside from those two games, this is like literally the best. I mean, you already see I spent money in here. Use all those hammers, right, that I was using? Yeah, you got to spend dough in here in order to get those hammers. But, nonetheless, it's like, when you, uh, there's a couple of, well, not a couple, but there's like another Green Lantern game out there. This is way better than that, you know? There's a Superman game out there. This is way better than that. So, I mean, it really is. I mean, not Batman, you know, not the Batman game, but you get what I'm saying. Anyway, though, um, what I do want to talk about is two things. Number one, EverQuest 3. Number two is SOE. Now, SOE stands for um, Sony Online Entertainment. This is actually the branch. It's like their PC gaming branch. It's actually the branch that actually created this game and will create um, EverQuest 3. Now, in my opinion, EverQuest 3 is like that hidden gem that a lot of people might actually um, kind of let to the wayside you know first and foremost i know it's coming to pc but it might come to playstation 4 as well and in fact i'm pretty sure it's going to come to playstation 4 but at the same time it might even be a playstation 4 exclusive i doubt it but i'm just saying it's always a possibility right but anyway um now this particular gameplay right here just letting you know right here it's a total fail uh, in my opinion you know as long as i've been playing this game i'm talking about i've been a beta tester for this game i did a lot of mistakes in this game this part of the game that i really shouldn't have for example uh, as you see right there, my power is actually running low really fast there. And what I should have done is I should have been fighting him in controller mode. Now, controller mode is better used when you're in a party. But in order to go ahead and uh, what controller mode would do is uh, for my particular character, it would let me heal my power more and do less damage. So I would hit him in controller mode doing less damage, but get my powers, you know, healed back up there. Then I can switch back to damage mode and start whooping his ass again. Unfortunately, I didn't do that. You know, like I said, fail. But anyway, um, the thing about EverQuest 3, first and foremost, is going to be a uh, free-to-play game. Free-to-play all through. Now, that's great. Now, if you guys have ever taken a look at EverQuest 2, the way they got things going there is fan-freaking-tastic. It's actually, um, it's free-to-play, and then you've got plenty of things within the uh, marketplace that you're going to want to spend your money on. You know? And, I mean, a lot of great things in there, too. And not to mention, if you actually decide to go ahead and play the, um, the, what is it, like the $15 a month, which most likely it will be, or maybe it's more, I don't know. But if, if you do decide to do that, which is an option to do that, but if you decide to do that, then you're great, and it will actually go ahead and give you, uh, everything that you want for free, give you an additional 500, um, credit, so you can spend it on, um, the, uh, whatever you want in there. And then aside from that, you get extra features and things of that nature. So it's like one of those games, I'm talking about extra features outside of the uh, free-to-play model too. So it's like one of those games that really do, you know, thank you for, you know, purchasing, you know, thank you for subscribing to them. You know, not a lot of games out there really do that anymore. Like, for example, when it comes down to um, uh, Electronic Arts, what is it, Star Wars? They pretty much just give you exactly what you got when you, um, you know, when you went ahead and, subscribe where in this game they actually giving you they give you a heck of a lot more that's all i gotta say about that but all in all like i said that's so that's sony for you sony will go ahead and actually like when they you know it's like when they when they finally got it together and put it that way because when they started with this they really didn't have it together just like the whole um playstation 3 thing when it was like hey this playstation may be overpriced but you will pay for it anyway uh, they did the same thing with everquest 2 it was like, hey, I know EverQuest 2 is extra powerful and it's not really that good, but it's okay because it's EverQuest. You're gonna, you're gonna get it anyway. And it took a lot of people to, um, time to warm up to it. They had a lot of, let's just say, they had a lot of. No one really played it. Everyone played like World of Warcraft and whatever. So yeah, that was them. They screwed up big time. They lost a lot of money, but they wound up getting a lot of it back when they went free to play. So I think that was a very good idea from them. And then they've been using this whole free-to-play thing to really go ahead and enhance the gameplay. Um, releasing, you know, DLC, just like this game, plenty of great DLC. And, of course, microtrans uh, microtransactions for weapons that may or may not Some of them are just like visual weapons, but a lot of them are, well, most of them are visual weapons. But some of them are, in fact, you know, weapons that you can actually use that will enhance something. So overall, like I said, great game. Now... With that being said, though, when it comes down to EverQuest 3, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I think it's one of those games that a lot of people are not going to be looking at. They're going to assume that it's just blah, 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 just another free game. It's not. It's going to be the best um, 
in my opinion, is probably going to be the best MMO out there today. I, I'm kind of looking at this game. You know, this game went free to play finally. It's one of the best MMOs out there. This game, literally, right here. It's not, it may not be the best, but it damn sure is close. To, it's like one of the best, you know? So, Sony really learned their lesson regarding what they've done and all that. And so, with that, my faith has returned back in Sony. You know, it really has. I'm not just talking about the SOE PC branch, too. When it comes down to PlayStation, I've actually started liking the PlayStation a hell of a lot more once Sony got their ass out the clouds. You know what I mean? You gotta admit, they were there. When PlayStation 3 first launched, they were there. But they got a hell of a lot better. You know, can't deny that. Anyway, so my, my question is this, though. How many of you will go ahead and purchase, well, will go ahead and give EverQuest 3 a try? I think anyone who actually owns a PlayStation 4 should go ahead and download it. It's free. What do you got to lose? You know, what do you got to lose? It's free. Go ahead and give it a try. Um, and I definitely support Sony with this particular game. And there, like I said before, the reason why is because I'm, like, yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm a big fan of EverQuest. That is the one particular thing. But I think that Sony really has something going on here regarding this whole free-to-play stature. You know, which a lot of people this day and age are trying to copy. Um, you know, are well using it to kind of like a, I wouldn't say copy, more like a, um, how to say, inspiration. You know, Guild Wars 2, great game. You know, it's one of the best MMOs out there. You know, and a lot of their, even though they did the free to play thing to start with, honestly, you know, it wasn't until other people like Sony started doing free to play that they actually changed up their free to play models. You know. Remember, their original free-to-play models was pretty much free-to-play, and that's it. You was free-to-play, and you had to buy the DLC and everything like that. But microtransactions wasn't something that they started. You know, it's a shame, really. They kind of should have. But anyway, that's it for now. So let me ask you guys something. Are you going to go ahead and give EverQuest 3 a try? Now, if you are, I definitely advise you to go ahead and make sure you keep your, your eyes tuned to the SOE website on August 2nd. Because August 2nd is the time that they're going to go ahead and start announcing EverQuest 3, or EverQuest Next is what it's going to be called, but they're actually going to give the big reveal, and I'm betting it's going to be on the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and PC, you know, maybe Batman not the PlayStation 3, but I'm hoping the PlayStation 3, anyway, that's it for now, rate, comment, subscribe, you guys know the deal, you guys have a good night, I'm out.